my channel. Today I am trying yet another viral TikTok recipe. I have seen this everywhere. If you haven't seen it, I will be extremely shocked. Then again, not really, because it didn't come up on Cal's For You page. I don't know, I don't know. Today, I'm going to be trying nature cereal. I've seen Bretman Rock try it. I've seen Lizzo try it. I've seen so many people try it. And you know what? It's my turn. If you don't know where this whole nature cereal came about, it is actually from an account that is called nature's underscore food. And this video on TikTok has 5.7 million views. Very, very popular. In this TikTok, they were describing how they eat it every single morning and some of the benefits. So they listed that some of the benefits were like digestive issues, like all of them were gone after eating this first thing in the morning. Energy levels is a big one for me. I feel like no matter how much sleep I get, I'm still always tired. If this is able to help my energy levels, like they say, then maybe I should just be having this every single morning. In this TikTok, they said that they could literally run a marathon. I literally felt like I could run a marathon. I'm telling you, it was crazy. There is nothing that I've eaten that made me think I could run a marathon. But maybe today my mind will be changed. The only ingredients you need are fruit and coconut water. So I guess that is your like cereal and then your milk. In this original video, they used pomegranates, blueberries, and blackberries. I saw another one where someone was using strawberries and mango. So I guess it's kind of to your preference. I'm not a big blackberry person. They're okay. They're definitely not my favorite berry. I have decided to recreate the one from the Vita Coco coconut water brand. I saw their TikTok and I was like, oh, I quite like the look of that. And then they also added ice and I don't know where it originated from, but I think it was from Lizzo's video of her trying this because she said that she likes to eat her cereal with ice. So she put ice in it. So then the Vita Coco people also put ice in it. So I will put ice in it. The things that you will need are obviously coconut water. I went with this one because this is the one that I like, so it's just preference really. Then whatever fruit you want. So I actually went and bought blueberries and raspberries. And look, I actually found these ones that came in like a pack of two. M&S came through. But then sadly, there was no pomegranates left at M&S. So I had to go to Tesco and I found this perfect small amount of pomegranates, so that's great. And then of course you will need a spoon and a bowl. So I've chosen this type of pasta bowl. And then of course, if you wanted to, you could add ice. Look at these, they are all washed and looking pretty nice. There's only one thing left to do and it is to put everything in this bowl. I know I could have just put it in this bowl, but I like the look of this bowl because of the color. They put theirs in like bit by bit. So let's get my raspberries out. Wow, blueberries. And now time for the pomegranate. <laughs> Maybe I'll go get more fruit. Ta-da, I added more things. You know what, it looks really beautiful. It looks so nice because of the colors. There is only one thing left. Obviously there's ice if I wanted ice, but it is to open up this. I'm actually so excited because this is like something super easy. I mean, I know cereal is also super easy. This is just nice, you know? Let's go. Okay. That looks good. That looks like a good amount. <laughs> me, that looks like a good amount. Also me pours more. This looks really nice. So this is what it's currently looking like. I think it looks really tasty. I guess the ice cubes just make it cold. You know what, I'll put a few in. Okay, I now put four ice cubes in. Ta-da. Now, let's try. I don't know why I wouldn't like all these things because obviously in a smoothie, they would taste amazing. And also on their own, they taste amazing. Here we go. It is time. Yeah. I like it. I don't know. It is what it is. Coconut water with fruit. I really like it. And you know what? If what they say is true about energy, then maybe I will be so energized. <laughs> I think this is something my mum would really like because she loves coconut water and fruit. So <laughs> that's basically what this is. Hmm. One thing for sure, this is very refreshing. I feel like 
I mean, personally, I wouldn't just be like, oh, let me have a bowl of Rice Krispies because I want to feel refreshed. This is super refreshing. You know what? Maybe I should be having this for breakfast more often or even just a snack. Like this is a great snack. You know what I feel like this is? This is like the lemon water detox equivalent, I feel like. Remember back in the day where everyone was drinking like water with cucumber and lemons? Maybe people still do that. But do you remember like everyone would do that and you'd always see everyone do it and say like how great it was and all the benefits? I feel like this is the new version, which I prefer this version. I'm not a big fan of like, you know, lemons in my water or cucumbers in my water or like mint. Oh my God, I think people put like greens in there too. But this is good. It's refreshing, easy. Also, I don't know. I feel like I just like how everything comes together. Maybe it's a texture thing. I understand the hype, but I don't know if anyone's seen Lizzo's TikTok. She made it seem like it was the best thing in the world. I watched her video and I thought this was like the next best thing, like better than sliced bread type of thing. It's really so good. Mm. Don't knock it till you try it. I'm gonna get that. Sadly, I did not have the exact same reaction as Lizzo, but it was good. It's like not life changing, but it's good and I will be trying it again. But I don't know if my life changed. Now there's only one more person left to try it in this house and I know that my boyfriend hates most of these things. He's not a big fan of like raspberries, blueberries, pomegranates. So I basically made him a nightmare. He doesn't like coconut water. So <laughs> we're now gonna see whether he likes it or not. So I've just texted him to come through because he's currently working and we'll see. Okay, so I have now enlisted Cal's opinion. I already explained that you basically hate everything in here. Yeah. So I said it was going to be a bit of a nightmare for you because you hate everything. But I'm willing to try. Yeah. But yeah, I really don't like coconut. That's my least favorite thing. And it's coconut water. Uh, pomegranates are like, okay. Mm -hmm. Raspberries like raspberry, are like, yeah. yeah, it's more like texture wise for me. Smells very fresh. I've got some of everything. Okay, yeah, you have to Coconut, be fair. Coconut water, yeah. raspberry. I don't remember the last, is it blueberry? Yeah. I must not even have been a teenager the last time I had a blueberry. That was years ago. Many moons for me. <laughs> so I don't just put a mouthful in. Yeah, like cereal. How coconutty is coconut water? To me, it's not that coconutty, but it's because I like it. <laughs> okay, I'll just do it. Hmm. Uh-huh. It's actually not bad. Very refreshing. Mm. I'm gonna have another mouthful. <laughs> oh my god, I, I really didn't think it'd be like that. <laughs> Neither did I. What? I was dreading this moment, honestly. Because I was saying, like, if you pitch your cereal, you wouldn't have a bowl of cereal on a hot day to try and refresh yourself. Mm. That's not very refreshing. But this is, right? Mm, very fresh. Mm, quite nice. Quite nice. So would you be more inclined to eat berries and fruit if it was like this? I think so. I wouldn't eat a raspberry on its own. Yeah, yeah. But like that, quite mm. nice. Yeah, quite nice. Oh my god. And what do you think of the coconut water? Is that your first time trying coconut water? It just tastes like water, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't really get much of a coconut tea. Mm. Like a bit of a coconut tea. Twang. But yeah. Not much. Right? Mm. I mean, there's other coconut waters that have like bits in it. Oh, coconut I don't think I like that. I don't think you would. That's quite nice. Yeah? Okay, if you were to give it a rating out of 10. Ooh, like an 8 probably. 7 or 8? Okay, I didn't expect that. Me either. Wow! Me either. I, honestly, I've been dreading this moment the whole time because <laughs> like, I've got to come and like eat this thing and I know I don't like anything in it. Yeah. Turns out I might, so... Wow! Wow! Okay, thank you so much! <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Quite surprised. Good, right? It actually, it's very nice. Well, that was a lot better than I expected it being. I didn't think that Cal would actually like it because like I said, he doesn't like many of those things. So... Overall, a big success. And that is where I'll be ending this video today. I really hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. If you think that you don't like coconut water or berries, think of Cal because Cal literally hates all of those things, but did enjoy that. And you know, when he went off, I was like, did you actually like it? And he said, yeah. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and sub if you haven't already. And leave me a comment letting me know if you've ever tried nature cereal or would you ever try nature cereal? And until next time, I will see you when I see you.